to the production procedures. And the first one is we put this raw material into the production line. And then this material will make two, will be made to our middle cone of aluminum composite panel. Second step is high temperature plasticization. That means we will make, uh, we will extract the air and the water of the plastic and the metal all the plastic particles into the sheet shape. The third step is called the calendaring. In this step, we will make the plastic into smooth and shiny one and adjust the thickness of our aluminum composite panel middle cone thickness. First step of our production and this step is adhesive film attaching. That means we adhered the front adhesive film and the back adhesive film to the plastic cone. The fifth step is about the composition of aluminum coils on the middle cone. That means we need to put the front aluminum coil and the back aluminum coil adhered on the aluminum, aluminum on the uh, plastic cone. The surface aluminum and the bottom aluminum enter the high temperature composite roller through the aluminum part and the temperature passes through the composite roller to heat the aluminum and uh, make the composition of front and the back side of uh, aluminum composite panels. Now the sixth part of our production procedure is cooling. In this stage, the temperature of the board coming out of the composite area is still very high, which is not good for the uh, qualitativeness of the board and the pasting of the protective film. Therefore, the high power air cooler cools the board in the cooling area. The seventh part of our production procedure is uh, pasting the protective film. So, in order to ensure the surface of aluminum composite panel is not damaged during the transportation and installation process, it's necessary to paste a protective film on the surface of the plate after cooling. And the brand is a local word, and you can choose your own film design with OEM. The eighth part of our production procedure is trimming. Aluminum composite panel can be made to different width. How to make sure the final width meets the customer's requirement? After this trimming, the panel width is the customer's final width. The step nine of our production procedure is leveling. That means leveling the length of the board in this process. The 10th part of production procedure is uh, cutting. In this step, we will complete the cutting according to the panel length required by the customer. So we can make any length customer need. Any length we can cut in this production line. procedure is the final procedure is stacking. We stack all the boards together neatly face to face and back to back. 